Hey guys, welcome back for another week of Angie's Manny's. Craziness is just the norm around here lately. If you've been watching for a while, then you'll know that in March-ish, I quit sugar. So I pretty much, I do use sugar alternatives, which are controversial, but I quit eating, drinking sugar, and it's so funny because this week I just needed something. So I went and got a giant, giant milkshake from Arby's, their orange cream milkshake. It was so, so good. I kind of gave myself a sugar hangover, but it was worth every bit of it. We did get my daughter's wedding pictures back and they are so gorgeous. I love when you get pictures back from a special event or something like that where you you're nervous because you want them to be perfect and then they come back and they're so good. I do have a picture, the one that my daughter wanted that I mentioned before in Angie's Manny's that's my daughter's hand, my hand, and my mom's hand because she wanted all of our wedding rings but also you can see mine and my daughter's manicures so that is Zoya's Lydia that we're wearing. And actually, I have a ring story that I don't think that I told you guys before the wedding. So the day before the wedding, the day of the rehearsal, I was hurrying and getting ready and my ring almost fell off my hand. So I was like, oh, I gotta go get that fixed because it was an outdoor wedding and I don't want to lose my ring, obviously. So I went to the jeweler and we were talking about getting it sized and I had said that my daughter's wedding was the next day and he was like, well, don't you want to wear it for your daughter's wedding? And I said, well, yes, but I don't want to lose it. And he's like, well, I can put a guard in it and adjust it for the day and you bring it back to me the day after the wedding and we'll size it then. And I was like, okay. Well, I don't have a warranty on my stones anymore, so I have him check my stones, the settings, every time I take it in. So he was checking the settings and my center diamond was loose enough that it could be wiggled with his finger. I <laughs> am so glad I took it in so that I didn't lose my stone, but also my jeweler is amazing amazing he was so sad that I wouldn't have my ring for my daughter's wedding that he actually finagled something with his goldsmith so it was sized and my stone was reset and fixed within four hours so I did have my ring for my daughter's wedding which was so good because I didn't know that she had that picture planned with all of our hands. So it worked out perfectly and it could have been a much worse ending. <laughs> I did get a new camera not to record on just for my swatch pictures. So if the quality of my swatch pictures looks like it's going back and forth, that's because I have swatch pictures that have already been taken that are a little bit older and new swatch pictures because I'm not going to retake the old ones. That takes too much time. So if you're Noticing some quality difference, that's what it is. Let's talk about polish for the week. I was in a little bit of a rush early in the week, so I grabbed my Super Chick Lacquer Dart Through the Heart. I love her holographics. They are so, so opaque, so I always know that I can grab for one of these when time is rushed. This one they call a bronzed chrome. I definitely think this is a bronzy, coppery color. This is an easy one coater, so you're going to see one coat of Super Chick Lacquer Dart Through the Heart. Then I got Shimmy Shimmy. This was actually sent to me by a subscriber and it was so cute. She contacted me and told me she was sending me something she knew I didn't have, which instantly stressed me out because I'm a shopper. You guys know I'm a shopper. So I was like, I don't know what you know I don't have because I have a lot and I have a lot on the way. Even when I'm on a low buy, I'm still a shopper. So I was stressed out. But I was so excited when I opened the package because I had actually forgotten about Shimmy Shimmy. It is still nowhere in my area. I haven't seen it anywhere. So I had given up on it. I had totally forgotten. So I opened it and I was so, so excited to have this nail polish. So thank you so much for sending it to me. Shimmy Shimmy is a medium blue base with a bunch of turquoise little flakies in there and pink flakies. It gives it kind of a shifty, unique look on the nail. I like this one at three coats, so you're gonna see three coats of Shimmy Shimmy. Next we have Oralee's Green with Envy. I love bright greens like this. I think this is a perfect green for this time of year. This one is a little bit jellyish, so it was a three-coater for me, but I was absolutely loving the way this one looked on my nails. 
Minus the breaks. I didn't tell you guys about the breaks. I did have a break last week and I had like three more corner breaks this week and they were low enough that I had to file my, na my nails down pretty dang short compared to how I would normally choose to wear them. So it is what it is. But you're going to see three coats of Orly's Green with Envy. Next I have China Glaze Pay It Fashion Forward. This one I am going to show you the swatch picture I took for the review video because my nails were not broken and so it looks better. This is kind of a plummy base with a bunch of bright purple glitter and golden micro glitter in there. I absolutely love this one. I'm so excited to have this one and it will definitely be pulled out again this fall. So you're going to see two coats of Pay It Fashion Forward. Next we have Zoya's Mini. This is a kind of a pinky coral color. This one has the great Zoya formula. Even though it's a lighter color, it was still completely opaque in two coats for me. I was loving wearing this color. So you're gonna see two coats of Zoya's Mini. And then I have another Zoya. This one is so funny because twice like my last two packages from Zoya, I got minis. And I have never, ever gotten minis from Zoya before. So I thought it was interesting that I have twice in a row now. But I got some that I hadn't had. This is Zoya's Aubrey. It looks like a color I should have because it's kind of a plummy mauve color. Definitely one of those neutrals that's right up my alley. This one has a great formula. Again, just a two coater. It actually is super close to being a one coater for me possibly because my nails are so short. So you're going to see two coats of Zoya's Aubrey. Then we have Glisten and Glow's Bunks and Bug Juice, which is this great bright medium blue that just is the blue that I love. It just is a happy color for me. My friend Rachel actually sent this one to me. This formula is a little bit thin, but I don't even care. I love this color. It was still a two coater. So you're going to see two coats of Bunks and Bug Juice. Alright guys, let me know what you've been wearing. Are you still way into summer colors? Are you creeping towards fall? How are you feeling about nail polish colors right now? There's quite a bit of stuff going up or recently gone up, depending on where it falls to this video. We have China Glaze Halloween, the China Glaze Fall Collection, we have Zoya Summer, Late But Coming. Zoya's Fall is on the way to me, but not filmed yet. Um, I did get the Night Owl Lacquer uh, Honeyduke's Treats ones. I can't remember what the official name of that is. So that'll be another Harry Potter one. I did order Cloris de Carol's Neons, so there's lots of stuff coming up. Thank you so much for spending your time with me, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys!